previously on Steins Gate. Just answer my question. How did you know about our business with CERN? Um, well... Well, uh, actually, I only heard you this afternoon. If you stand here, you can hear stuff in the window. The window? Come to think of it, it was open, and Daru and I were talking loudly. <laughs> Imagine it. Daru, I want you to hack into CERN! Roger that! Welcome back to Steins Gate. Hello everyone and welcome back to Steins Gate! Uh, I took a little uh, break uh, from YouTube, <laughs> from recording or anything, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm back from the break. <laughs> but anyway, that doesn't matter right now. Right, ma what matters is Steins Gate, and what happened last time was uh, we told Daru to hack into CERN, which he was currently doing it, and as soon as the high heard us, it's apparently we were shouting loudly <laughs> outside the window. But anyway, uh, that's what happened, and we're back, and we just followed, after that happened with Suzaha, which was explaining to her what happened, what we're doing, uh, we just followed her into the store, and that's where we left off, so let's carry on, you shall we? I followed Suzaha in into the store. <laughs> so that's when I heard you guys talking from the second floor. I got interested and looked it up online, but now I know all the rumors about CERN. Damn, we were careless. <laughs> Looks like we need to close that window when we discuss sensitive matters from now on. But if we do that, the lab will turn into a scorching hell. God damn, I an impasse here. <laughs> damn if I do, damn if I don't. Anyway, you must not tell anyone else. Or else many black will raid us. <laughs> ah, yeah, I understand. I'm actually uh, tight, tight lips, so don't worry. <laughs> Suzaha grins and thumps her chest confidently. All is quiet inside the Braun 2 workshop. That try get the TV isn't on. Mr. Braun not Mr. Braun's not here either. Oh hang on a sec. Kaku. <laughs> I baked cookies today. I had everyone in my family eat some. And got see and got the seal of approval. Would it be okay if I bake some for your lab lab friends, Master? Oh, and uh it would be great if you could, if you could uh, teach me some more techniques with the summer diary whenever you have the time. P.S. I have managed 10 practice wins today. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Reply. Well done. We. We warmly welcome your refreshments. In fact, you can come cook for us every day if you want. I'll even provide you with a maid uniform. Okay, just <laughs> free food. Oh, that was great. Yes. <laughs> Where's the manager? He hit hit. Oh, <laughs> he left right after he finished repairing your TV. He probably went to see the chick monk. Chick monk. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he disappears during business hours every now and then. Whenever I ask him where he's going, he always says something like, I'm picking up my, my beloved daughter from school. My beloved daughter has a call with a huge grin on his face. What? He's calling his chip. <laughs> he's calling his daughter a chipmunk. It's a bit harsh, Uncle Bay. I don't care. <laughs> he dotes on her too much. Probably, ju probably just annoys her. Anyway, just how irresponsible can you be to neglect work to see your daughter? He used to be. It used to put a back soon sign on the door whenever he left, but now he has Susan to take care of things while he's gone. So he fixes fix the TV. This is how I lightly taps the TV on the counter. He, he said to charge one thousand yen. Damn manager, I better give us <laughs> I better give it to us so we could charge repair fees. <laughs> I reluctantly take out a bill out my wallet and hand it to Suzaha. She takes out a receipt and apparently uh, it was already written out. <laughs> Th thanks for your patronage. Well, uh just take it anyway. By yourself, are you joking? Huh? Didn't you bring it here by yourself? Don't you know it takes ten times more effort to go up, to go upstairs and down to find gravity? So it's a task, woman. <laughs> I guess I can help out, but oh, I see. So we're already in the age where women do physical labor. She, she mutters, her tone pensive. <laughs> How sarcastic of her. Hmm. I don't remember anyone asking for your help. Honestly, getting help from a girl like you would just hurt my pride. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Applaud. 
That was so manly. I'm gonna be falling for you. Hmm. Think you could trick me like that? You're lying, aren't you? Hmm. What makes you think that? It's one of my powers. Covering gentlemen. <laughs> this power allows me to see through lies. Lies appear to glow red, then they die. Y you have powers? <laughs> Susan, her eyes pop, but then she clear then she clears her throat as if to hide her surprise. Are you some kind of esper? Yes, that's right, I'm an esper. When I nod, she whispers into my ear. Are there a lot, uh, are there a lot of espers like you? Of course not, I am special. I thrust my chest out as fast as possible to display my ma majesty. Oh, you had me scared there for a second. Uh, uh, yeah, scared of it for a second there. But still, it's amazing that people like you exist. Maybe certain is the reason there aren't any, they aren't more where I, Maybe certain is the reason there aren't more where I came from. Oh, okay. <laughs> After muttering some nonsense to herself, she finally nods in understanding. By the way, do the, does the ability to see through lies have any compet application at all? <laughs> if it were me, I, would, I want a perfect accuracy within a thousand meters or ultra fast reflexes that let me let me tear my enemy's limbs off before they can react. What the hell is she talking about? <laughs> is she a survival game at Haku? <laughs> Let's have a look what that says. Uh, oh, there we are. <laughs> a mock battle using air guns, probably played outside in the mountains, but this is generally where camouflage. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's take a while that does. <laughs> no, wait, don't tell me. Y you're an organization assassin, aren't you? You must be the one they call Miss G <laughs> Golgo. <laughs> what kind of name is that? <laughs> You call Miss Gargo. Who hired you? No one. Nobody hired me. What's a Gargo? <laughs> She's trying to gloss things over with insincere insist smile. Her, co her confusion is suspicious. That reminds me. I think I remember her saying some awfully disturbing things when I first met her yesterday. Anyway, do you have any other powers? <laughs> Even if I did, there's no way I'd tell a hitman hide to kill me. I'm not. I'm not going to kill you. Revealing my powers would be su suicide. They are most effective with the element surprise. In other words, they're they're for me to know and you to find out. Meanie or backer, <laughs> say what you like. Burning tension runs between us. Our eyes meet. Invisible sparks scatter. Oh! And then an email arrives to break the stalemate. I turn my attention away from Suza. Can't play with it. This ringtone is starting to piss me off. <laughs> Most likely from that male demon's shiny finger. Could tell without even checking. Huh. <laughs> Scared ridiculous. She's got some stalker qualities and maybe split personalities. I shouldn't have given her my dr my address. <laughs> Look at Susan her and see her lying on the counter. Can I check it? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, Big Kun, I want you to reply to me already. I've been waiting, you know. And please tell me the super hacker's address when you can. If you don't get cracking, someone else might, might get to the IBM 5100 first. Moeka. No! Shut up! <laughs> Stop sending me messages. I look at Suzanne and see her lying on the counter. Oh, but where's this going? <laughs> where's this going, Suzaha? She's praying with something in the palm of her hand. Ooh, wonder what it could be. It's like a small metal pin. Ooh, got a small metal pin for here for you, Suzaha. <laughs> anyway. How can she be this lazy on the second day? I love CRTs. Was a lie too, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Why the frown? Did you get a death notice? A what? Just wondering. <laughs> she was just wondering if I got a death notice. <laughs> now she can say that with a straight face. What the hell is this death, death, death notice thing anyway? Does, do, does, do those even exist? Mm, what I meant to ask you was if, if you got some unpleasant news. You could say that. <laughs> this girl is hard to get a handle on. I really shouldn't let my guard on, down around her. There's this woman who, who, who's obsessed with finding an IBM 5100. Oh. Suza leaps up as soon as I speak. An IBM 5100? You know about it? Yeah. I see. So the IBM 5100 legend is famous, huh? Maybe that retro PC is more popular with female Ataku than I thought. Yeah, th that's it. I, I had the urban legend from someone. H how much do you know about it? I, 
I don't know, I'm, I'm speaking her voice, but it kind of sounds like I'm doing a male voice for her. <laughs> I don't know, does it sound like that to you guys? I don't know, I think I just changed my voice by accident. I actually tried looking for an IBM 5100, but in the end I came to a conclusion that there isn't one in Akiba. I, I see, well that's true. You sound like you know something. Uh, well, I do and I don't, I guess. I don't know about personally, but I happen to hear it from a knowledgeable acquaintance of mine or something like that. <laughs> Another insincere smile. I'm starting to think that she's not a very good liar. You can tell she's lying whenever she smiles like that. Sure enough, she doesn't offer any of other information. She just keeps that insincere smile plastered on her face. Who are you? <laughs> she's how fools back down onto the counter with a deep sigh. She looks up at me from that position. I was thinking of giving you a bunch of interesting information on the IBM 5100, but when you look at me like that, I don't feel like it anymore. I'm not, e I'm not even interested in the IBM 5100. I'm more concerned with CERN right now. So I'm one of the Akibia's mysteries will topple the organization regime after all. You don't have a shred of credibility. I have no way of knowing if, if that interesting information of yours is true or not. Well, that's harsh. Well, I admit I am acting kind of suspicious. I won't tell you, but I'll give you a hint. And then you writhe in agony when you can't figure it out. Truth is, the Admin 5100 has a hidden function. A hidden function? That reminds me, I'm pretty sure John Tita from 2000 said something like that. Search for my memories. If I remember correctly, the IBM 5100 can do something, do something or other with a, can do something or other. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> with, with a pr proprietary programming language. N no way! How did you know? Tell me, tell me. I only vaguely remembered, but it looks like I hit the mark. I grin. <laughs> it's another one of my powers. Leading question. I can read your heart of hearts. What? No fair. So, for some reason, Suzuha covers her face with both her hands. She opens her fingers just enough to peek at me. That's not enough to escape my power. I see everything, Amane Suzuha. Resistance is futile. Kuh. Anyway, the IBM 5100 has a hidden function. It can decipher IBM's proprietary. Uh, proprietary. I can't say it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> What's wrong with Suzuha? <laughs> Pro programming language. Uh, which was written before APL and BASIC became widespread. Isn't that surprising? Now I remember, John Tita said the same thing in 2000. And right after that, right after that, an ABN engineer officially admitted to that function's existence. Now it's a dead programming language that could only be deciphered but with an IBM 5100. The reason Tita traveled to 1975 to obtain an IBM 5100 was because he needed that function. Maybe Moeka wants to use it too. Or maybe not. Shinyfinger doesn't seem to like doesn't seem like the type who know about that sort of function. That's why IBM 5100s are so rare! While talking, Suzu keeps dropping her glance to the metal pin in her hand. She rolls it around with her fingers. Because it's a habit of hers. The IBM 5100s are super rare. Maybe if I get one, I can sell it for a high price. That could be a good way to raise uh, research funds. But first, I have to deal with CERN. Hmm, 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 hmm. <coughs> John, John Tita stuff now, John Tita stuff. I can get John Tita voice back on, I forgot it. Uh, what was it again? Okay, I think it was just a serious voice. Okay. Life in 2036 is very different from what it is today. Most people live on farms, growing their own food. All forms of commerce and communication are restricted. There's no travel, no internet, no railroad either. Uh, e wait, no railroad even? <laughs> Most people never. No, most people never see another town, let alone a city. S science continues to advance, of course, but the vast majority of people do not benefit from that progress. Technology begins only to those chosen by CERN and the community of 300. 300? <laughs> it's very peaceful, at least on the surface. There's none of the conflict you see in this era. There's a word! How is that possible? How does CERN resolve in the situation in the Middle East? What have you got against world peace? Sounds like Sir doing humanity a favor. <laughs> this dude, this dude got stole a time machine from Sir, didn't he? He's the bad guy here. 
Dying fire terrorist scum! <laughs> the world in 2036 is governed by CERN. All nations, even America, have disbanded their armies. To put it simply, civilization has returned to 18th century level of technology and exists under com a commute system of government. Except now that sy that system works flawlessly. Right now, you should asking you should be asking yourselves, how is that possible? How does a system of government that collapsed in the 20th century exist without any disconsent? The answer to that question is, is the reason I am here. Yes, I am a terrorist. There are others like me who fight against CERN. We think of ourselves as the resistance, but there's no denying our, that our actions are kind of terrorism. Anyway, I want to hear more about the world, many words interpretation. You said it's been proven in 2036. How? I knew you were a terrorist. How many? How many of you murdered? What about kids who longer? And maybe I should really kill your father. Predict the future. <laughs> Still be real, Bush. Give us answers. You, you're one of those old men who oh, participated in student riots, aren't you? Filled your head with a bunch of bullshit, and now you can't tell fact from fiction. Am I right? <laughs> Delicious. Delicious uh, nationalist tears, lol lol lol. CERN probably figured it out. They've got a time machine to experiment, experiment with, right? Hmm. That would make you no better than Teeter. If you're willing to face the consequences, then go right ahead. Teeter, question. Did World War III take place as scheduled? Why did you Why did you come to, the, to this particular time? Did you find an IBM 5100? Is John Teeter uh, looking the, for the comedy, uh, comedies? I thought that would have started years ago. I thought Tito was crazy, but this Hoenn guy is even crazier. Get a room, guys, lol. World War Free, I'm out. <laughs> Who says that anymore? Isn't that supposed to be IBM 5100 in Akiba? <clears throat> As I've already explained, my goal in, in this time is to change the future. I am posting here to warn you of what's going to happen. Perhaps convergence will render my ethics meaningless. But even if one person pays attention, that's enough. World War Three. Oh, uh, World War Three is—is is that something I said on a different world line? I would like to talk to you in private. Please email me when you have the time. Of course, if anyone else would like to email me, feel feel free. Seri serious inquiries only, please. I've, all I've been getting is hate mail. Here's my address once more, John Teeter. <laughs> weird email address. <laughs> Twenty hours have passed since Dara's hacking. Night gives way uh, to refreshing summer morning. I glance at Dara while brazing Achal on my phone. He's fidgeting even more, now his legs are like pistons. His knees, his knees move up and down in harmony with the rat -tat of his keyboard. Dara hasn't slept in about 40 hours, but he still won't get off the computer. I was going to ask him if, if he'd like a break, but his entire body is excluding an aura that says, Don't talk to me! Call up a bit and return to my phone. My discussion with John Teeter just aren't making sense. Not even Teeter himself seems to know what the Teeter from 10 years ago. I have to imagine that everyone on that channel is conspiring, conspiring against me. But how else can I explain? Out of options, I decided to email Tudor directly, just as he told me to. He audaciously exposed his own email address on that channel. Guess that's his way of saying, bring it on. In my email, I questioned the differences between his post and now and his post 10 years ago. The current Tudor hasn't even acknowledged the latter. I only vaguely remember them, but they basically went like this. In 2015, World War III breaks out. Many people die. In 2036, the world is contained, yet kind of contaminated from nuclear warfare. John Tudor travels to 1975 to obtain an IBM 5100. The IBM 5100 was necessary to revive technology lost in the World War in, in World War III. The IBM 5100 has a hidden function, the ability to read IBM proprietary computer language, which predates APL and BASIC. But only certain IBM engineers are aware of that function, so it doesn't appear in, ma in the manual. 1998, Tita meets his younger self and his parents in America. John Tita was a soldier who volunteered for this mission. John Teeter is American. Furthermore, in 2000, Teeter correctly predicted the outcomes of some future events. The Proverbian Coast earthquake in 2001, the election of a new pope, the outbreak in the Iraqi war, giant events, 
uh, advances in space and, and so forth. Though we only talked vaguely about each one, they all came true. On the other hand, other predictions went unfulfilled. For example, the Y2K bug, civil war in America, the cancellation of Beijing Olympics, the, og- the organization of El- America's first female president in, 29- in 2009, and so forth. There's more, but let's leave, the- let's leave those aside for now. Go to ask him why those predictions didn't come true. It's a long email. Sorry for the sudden email. <laughs> Sorry for the sudden email. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> Alright, let's send it now. If you can't answer to my satisfaction, then the current teeter is an imposter. This is your limitless test, John Teeter. <laughs> so what are your true colors? <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Doo-doo-doo, good morning. Mayuri comes in. Looks like she's forgiven us for experimenting on our food. She's back to her usually smiley self. What are you doing here so early? Well, I heard you guys stayed up two nights in a row, so I brought you some goodies. Excellent. Good job, Miri. Though, to be accurate, it wasn't two nights in a row. I took an afternoon nap yesterday. <laughs> Miri stops fishing through her convenience store bag. Then she takes out... Ta-da! Canned Odin! The canned Odin is still warm when she gives it to me. Open the lid right away and eat the beef. Yuri and I have been together for a long time, so she knows what I like. And when it comes to canned Odin, beef is where it's at. Oh, yes. It's a pre- present from Mayushi. They're 20, 270 yen each, so savor it, okay? I begin tired of eating bananas and chicken lately. But it's instead from now on, okay? But Mayushi doesn't have enough pocket money to splurge like this all the time. Mayushi loves bananas and chicken, so she keep buying them. Mm. <laughs> I consider saying you'll get fat if you eat only frozen foods, but that that threat's not very effective against Miyushi, Mi- 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 or Miyuri, <laughs> so I hold my tongue. A high metabolism prevents her from getting fat, no matter how much she eats. But, w- wait, there's more, ta-da! <laughs> Next, she produces a small box with Ryan is illustration. Is that an ooper on the box? Is that the only reason why she brought it? Ryan sausage, it comes with the ooper bottom cap as a bonus! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I really wanted it, so I bought it. She sticks out her tongue with a shy giggle. Something tells me that in a few months' time, this lab will be neck deep in Uber goods. <laughs> there will be only a few things right now, like a cushion on the sofa. Oh, I missed that. How the heck do I bring up there? How the heck do I bring up there? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, it's B. I remember it's B. So tell me, there will be a few things right now, like sofa on the cushion on the sofa, but. But that number is sure to grow exp- exponentially. Oh, I think, I think. <laughs> So has Darukan. He's in the midst of a hard fight. He should at least take a rest of the- <coughs> Oh, someone just went in my throat. <coughs> what the heck was that? I mean, I never said he should have to do it all at once. Darukan's super hacker spirit is on fire. <laughs> Don't say hacker. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing he says. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's a man, eh? Uh, this is a man, uh, for, First email. Thanks for exchanging addresses with me yesterday. I finally made a friend here. Yay! Don't worry, I won't email you too much, and I might be slow to reply too. I'm kind of new at this email thing, and it's okay to laugh at me. Okay. This was an exchange. <laughs> you took my address by force. I had no choice but to submit. <laughs> oh, you. The banter. <laughs> An empty Diet uh, Cola bottle comes whistling through the air. It is my head with a nice stunk. <laughs> he sure is tense. Miura and I ac- evacuate to a corner of the lounge and quietly eat the Odin. <laughs> Isn't hacking bad? Me, you should just want you to do bad things. Oh, it's okay. We won't. We won't get in trouble. Well, maybe we might die, but you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'll be a fool to let Dara super hacker. I mean, hacker skills go to waste. Incidentally, it looks like the hackers hijacked certain system back in 2008. We found news articles about it online. That means even the inventors of the World Wide Web have holes in their security. 
With these skills, Dara should have no trouble getting through. Besides, we're doing this to expose Surin's wrongdoings. This is war against the dark forces that secretly rule the world. Bad things are bad. <laughs> that's right, Mayuri. Bad things are bad. Hmm, that's unusual. Mayuri ju usually just says, accepts whatever I say. Well, I admit it. We are doing a bad thing. <laughs> but there's no way we can stop now. I need to exchange the subject. Mayuri, want to trade my sweet potatoes for your beef? Uh, if you want to tra trade, I'd rather have you quail egg. Don't be ridiculous. Next, next to beef, quail eggs are my favorite. But me usually likes quail legs too. Aww. Settle for my Chiokia. <laughs> Thank you. That. Wait. Chikua. That's it. Chikua. Mm, okay. Chikua is better than sweet potatoes, I guess. With that said, I screw the Chikua and put it in Miura's cannon. And I get a beef in return. Subject change complete. Miura really eats up conversations about food. It's so easy to manipulate her. <laughs> Soon, if we can get the SQL table, I'll have more than enough passwords. <laughs> You're no match for me. <laughs> Dara started talking to herself. This is not good. <laughs> looks like things have really looks like things have fallen into the place. Dara really is a super hacker. I think, I think this is the first time I've seen him serious. Dara bends himself forward, staring holes, uh, staring holes into into the screen. It was staring when it. <laughs> But all I can see the screen is the same string of numbers and letters. Oh no, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes. Uh, oh, uh, you can't hold me, you the only thing you. How does it feel to be naked? <laughs> <laughs> his eyes are bloodshot and he started rambling. Maybe the lack of sleep is getting to him. Dara opens, opens up a new window and types in a 12 character string and slams the enter key. An error sound rings. He quickly deletes the string and enters a new one. He keeps repeating this that sequence until finally. Oh yes! Yes! Metro ID and password log and complete! Hell yeah! Taste it! Yeah! 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 So doing pelvic thrust Oh yeah! Take that computer! Yeah! Take that! <laughs> what enthusiasm! <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Smoke bastard turns around with the expression of immense satis satisfaction. As if he's gone into into La Piet Mort. What the heck does that mean? Condition of mental and physical release. You need to mail uh, physiology. Characterized by a feeling of supreme calm composure. Entering this state is almost like becoming an empty shell. Also known as hyper sage time or saint time. <laughs> well, good to know. Wait, 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 I need to get ready because Dora's voice actually really hurt my throat for some apparent reason. I haven't did it in a while, so it sounded hurt. Mission complete. R really? Wow, that's amazing. I don't really get it though. After 12, 20, oh, uh, after 20 hours, hours of agony, it's finally over. To show Dara my appreciation, I, I toss him my own open can of Odin can. No, Odin can is the best of the job well done. Well done, you, re you really are the world's greatest super hacker. Hacker. <laughs> Hacker, I'm glad you're on my side. <laughs> so, uh, did, did you find out how, uh, how they plan to destroy the world? I haven't looked yet, man. All they did was get us connected. But it's all down here from there. From here. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're tired, but please uh, please start checking. The, uh, the keys to, to this conspiracy have just got to be in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. But let me eat this own can first. After a short meal break, Dara taps on his keyboard more nimbly than before. The question is, whose pa who's password? Who's who's this password belong to? Wh why is that? I went to Stern's database and got a data table. From there, I focused on people with similar passwords like one 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 and A B C D E F G H to get my hands on the ID. It'd be awesome if it turns out to be server admin's login, but I don't really think that we're that, we're that lucky. In Japanese, in Japanese, please. Same. <laughs> Basically, if the server's admin password, if this is the server's admin's password, we can taste every inch of Cern's Lucius, Lucius flesh. But if it's an ordinary researcher's password, then, you don't, you don't, you don't, then we can only see Cern's boobs. Or side boobs would be better case. <laughs> Darukun, that's naughty! <laughs> Quick erotic examples. Basically, you mean there's no limits to what information we can access. 
Exactly. Anyway, it's only a matter of time before I get a server admin's password. Let's save that for later. I'm really sleepy now. It would be cruel to push Star any further. It's unfortunate to be. It's, it's unfortunate, but overworking him isn't an option. Let's, so let's rest to, uh, so he can regain his energy. Oh, it looks like an ID belongs to an accelerated division chief. So it's not server admin? we take a miracle, miracle to get one on that first try. How many staff members do you think Soren has? How many? Over 6,000. It's over 9,000! <laughs> that many? <laughs> well, for now, let's look at the accelerated division chief. Um, his name is Jack. Let's look at his email log. Oh, of course. The emails come out in English. Oh no, that make that makes me use his head hurt. Hmm, it's too pathetic to flinch at me aside of English. Daru, what's that say? Need need to translate it. This is a job for Dr. Excite. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, this is a job for Dr. Excite. Machine translation site. I never heard of this. Is it supposed to be something real? Based on something real? I don't think it's the exact same thing that would be so quick. It's so different. Um, I'm getting off here. What's going on? Hello? Here we are. Did you get ages? <laughs> nah, I've got a better idea. Dara bo boots up the translation software and also translate the open page. Poor unnatural Japanese shows up. The first sign says, <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> looks like New Year's greeting, uh, looks like a New Year's greeting. Something's about going on vacation in Spain, lucky bastard. That email's normal, nothing out of the ordinary. If you keep scouring the log like this, we can also identify the server manager. You know, looking for someone else's email with a permission makes me feel real guilty. Yuri gets depressed and moves away from the computer. She sits on the sofa and hugs a giant upper cushion with a sigh. I know we do something socially unacceptable, however, I abandon guilt when I choose the path of evil, evil long ago. <laughs> Let your responsibility be mine. I will not ask you for. Uh, I will not ask you to answer for my crimes. What a guy! I let Ocarina do me in the butt. What? The <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Daru, you're some kind of weirdo. <laughs> I decline your offer. <laughs> now get peeking, Daru. Not on my ass. I mean the computer. <laughs> Ocarina, you're bad. You make me usually sad. This of no concern to me. You just sit down and pretend your hands are clean. Upon further examination, we discover several emails of the Turtle ex Experiments Report. In English, naturally. I think he sends emails like this almost daily. LHC Experiment Reports. There could be a hint about time machines in there. We should try reading them. This is definitely, this is definitely a crime, though. That's what his lips say when his hands still click on the email. Comes up is an unintelligible series of symbols. This is encrypted. Of course, it isn't that simple. Well, cracking this should be a piece of cake. Nice, super haka. <laughs> He's a genius, no doubt. Daru under the security in less than 10 minutes. The real time sink is deciphering the crappy machine translation. Translating into proper Japanese, it's uh. Okay. Hi, Paul. <laughs> the acting is completely unnecessary. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> uploaded today's. Uh, uploaded today's, today's data to the server. The LHC is performing admirably. Oh, I'm guessing that's the Large Hadron Collider. Okay. Can't say the same about the rest, though. This baby's fickle as a cat, but it was surprisingly obedient this month. It would be great if he stayed like this forever. But don't you think this work is unrewarding? This kitten, this 27 kilometer long kitten, ha <laughs> ha has been in operation for nine years. Did he add that ha ha in? It was in the email. <laughs> Our research will change the course of history, yet only a small group of people are allowed to see it. Of course, if they were ever officially released, it would become one of hell of a scandal. People will probably say something like, <laughs> Call Roberto Skinoff to someone run, run away. He could build it in less than a year. Nine years? 
Dara finishes reading. I rub my temples with my thumbs. Calm down. I still think still things out. Do you think there's do there any translation errors in that email? Dara knows something unnatural too. He's not joking like he usually does. If you trust the translation software, then that's what it says. The Japanese is, is strange in places, though. But that doesn't make sense. I thought the LHC was put into operation about around spring last year. This email says it makes it sound like it's been in operation for nine years. That is strange. Hmm, they were lying then, I'm guessing. The email send date is, is this year, 2010. So nine years ago makes it 2001. John Cheetah posted this on our channel yesterday. The only other thing I can th uh, I can say is that you must not believe their lies. They've already succeeded at creating micro black holes. I gulp. I can repeat read between the lies of this email. It sounds like they're doing some sort of a secret experiment. Ah. Also, Robert Zekramoff is a super famous Hollywood movie director. He directed a trilogy of smash hit smash hit time travel movies about 20 years ago. I groan. No way. Was I right? Stern's hiding a major secret from the world. It's related to time travel. Keep looking, Daru. Search for anything related to the time machine research. Seriously? I don't know if Daru is questioning my order of a, or the responsibility that Stern might be re researching time travel. Either way, he begins tapping on the keyboard again. Hmm, there aren't any emails with the phrase time machine in them. But the phrase Z program was used hundreds of times in the past few months. You think it could be about the current LHC experiments? What is it spe specifically? Black hole formation experiments? Mm, let's try and look for a document. Ah, found one. Daru opens the PDF attachment. Oh, looks like this is top secret stuff from France, England, and Holland. Government secrets? Sir, it's not even a government organization, so why? Wait, should we be looking at this stuff? We might be a little bit. Might in. Might be a little little deeper. I don't care. Give me the details. Hold on, if we get caught, we're not getting off with an apology. <laughs> Are you so incompetent as to be let yourself be traced? I took the necessary precautions. Then I failed then I failed to see a problem. Well, thanks. <laughs> it makes makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> Dara makes a slightly awkward face as he makes the t as he takes the file out of the Z program and feeds it to, into the translation software. Huh? Is dead in this match. Hmm. May 14th, 137th Z program experiment report. Because we've already succeeded at creating many, uh, many black holes, the report is omitted first. S stop! Stop! All of a sudden, Tita's prediction became a reality. So CERN did use the LSG to generate many, many black holes. But, but they announced that the experiments haven't succeeded. So why? So what Tina was was referring to when he posted don't believe what they say. But the goal of that experiment wasn't wasn't even to generate many black holes, it was to create new uh, new elementary particle reactions. Dora doesn't take his uh his wide eyes off the monitor. But in reality, they already they're already generating those mini black holes. Sure does sure does seem like it. What does that say next? Um Resonance. Error. Human is dead. Mismatch. For details, consult Jellyman's report number 14. We, pr we propose that further, further experiments be halted until the lifter is per perfected and all local field conformity points are, are aligned. What does that mean? Human is dead it means somebody died, right? What? Someone died? Seriously? I groaned. This isn't a joke anymore. Something very serious is going on here. Maybe we are too. We are in too deep. Hmm, and what if we are? I'm not afraid. I'm not. After all, I am an insane mad scientist. Holy Gioma! We can't stop now. I cannot contain my curiosity. But besides, now I have proof of their evil deeds. I ignorantly would just leave a bad taste in my mouth. My throat's gone dry. I swallow my saliva. In an attempt to keep whatever composure I can, I scold myself for being so faint of heart. What is this gentleman's report? Dara starts, starts tapping once I ask my question, but soon, but he soon clicks his tongue. I can't find it in Jack's email. We need an account with more privileges. Then we have to save it for net, save that for next time. Search for something related to time machines. You, you know we're gonna not gonna find anything, right? If 
after that, after that, Darwin spends about 15 minutes fishing through the Accelerated Division's chief email, but he doesn't find anything but about the time machines. Worlds like Accelerated Technical Community and the LHC Project lead came up, so I guess we should look for an ID from there. Maybe then we'll get more information. You can't look it up with the ID you have. Darwin shakes his head. Well, uh, well, I guess we'll, we call it a day. By the way, what we just saw was CERN's biggest server, but also found a strange database on the network. Strange? How? It was buggy. Buggy? I mean, it was some fun, it was full of some kind of cold. But the cold was gibberish, only impossible to the cold, thank you very much. Could it be encrypted? Not by any algorithm uh, I've ever seen. It wouldn't even work as a program. It just bothers me. Why would they have a database that nobody could ever use? That is that is strange. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. <laughs> Dar tries every every trick in the book to catch that mystery database. But after an hour, the pistol has, has his fingers begin speeding up. Eventually, he just stabs the keyboard out of, out of frustration. God damn it! <laughs> ah, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Cross the program, dumbass, go to hell, you backer. Oh, great, here's snap. <laughs> I think you should stop. Mayuri puts her sewing tools and turns to Dara with a worried look on her face. My head is spinning. I, I can't take any more. <laughs> this is bad. Dara's breaking down. Maybe I'm pushing him too far. He's been up two days straight, but he's, pro he's probably at his limits. Good work, good, good work, go rest, Aru. Yeah, I'll do that. Anyway, even if it isn't a bug, but an actual program, only the only the guys who, who made it could understand it. I've never seen anything like it. A program like anything, unlike anything he's seen. Hmm. At that, at that moment, music burst from my pocket. John Teeter. Are you being honest? If everything you wrote is true, then we have to talk. Then we have a lot to talk about, particularly concerning the IBM 5100's hidden functionality, which I have not yet mentioned to anybody yet. I am indeed surprised that you that you know about it. However, I not I have not gone to the year 2000, though it is possible I may go there later. There are three explanation, possible explanations. First, the John Teeter who appeared in 2000 is my future self. In other words, I go to the 2000 year. I could do the year 2000 later and write about the things you have told me. But that would cause a uh, chicken paradox, a chicken and egg paradox. Oh yeah, which one first? Yeah, okay. Wouldn't it? Second, you're delusional or making things up. For the sake of, the, of this serious discussion, let's let's set this possibility aside. Third, you have may have seen something I wrote on a different world line. That would mean that ten years ago you existed on a different world line than the one we are now. However, that raises another issue. When the world line changes, the entire timeline reconstructed from past to future in order to prevent a paradox from occurring. That was proven in 2036. Impossible word. In other words, it should be impossible for you to retain memories of a previous world line unless that unless you too are a time traveler. That is. Do you have any idea what the cause could be? Hmm. I gulp. Mm. A flash runs through my. A flash runs through my head like an electric shock. That's going to talk. I think he's going to read it myself anyway, even though, even though I've just read it. Whoa, god damn it. I can't even go it myself. Wow, well, it's taking ages. My god, I shouldn't have read it. <laughs> it's quite a bit of text, but what catches my eye in the first several lines? <laughs> Of course, everything is falling into place. What you talking about? <laughs> Miura looks at me, looks at me curiously, but I don't have the time to answer her. I frantically get something in the pieces of my mind. John Teeter, CERN, the time machine. These things are all connected. And now, I have another piece of the puzzle. I shiver out my own brilliance. <laughs> Whoa, what's wrong? What's with it? What's with Okabe? Daru, I need. I think I know how we can read that program. Seriously, how? 
Oh, is he thinking the IBM 5100? I wonder. Because remember, he said he had a hidden uh, function about the really proprietary program thing. Maybe this is what it is? Hmm, I wonder. I aim my phone at, I aim my phone's camera on the screen, displaying the supposedly bug data and take a picture. Attach it to a message. Does this code look familiar? And send it to the teeter. Mysterious data pipes inside CERN. Program unlike anything Super Hacker Diary has ever seen. The true form is. My hunch is correct. John Teeter should know. Well, what? There's no way. Say what you like. We're not sure enough. Wait for we wait for Teeter's reply. Though it's only been a few minutes, it feels like an eternity to me. It's here. I quickly open the mail. Um, <clears throat> what did you find that? It's written in proprietary IBM programming language used prior in 1975. You can only decipher it with the IBM 5100. I knew it! And its contents are enough to raise goosebumps on my entire body. <laughs> Just as I expected. Suspected, I mean. <laughs> huh? I was right, Daru. I know where that data comes from. An, IB oh, an IBM 5100? The Retro PC has certain, a certain special function. In fact, for more than 25 years after it went into marketing in 1975, nobody knew. No, oh, nobody knew of it. Save. Of, wait, what? Nobody knew of it. Of it. Save a few IBM engineers. I don't think it's a typo. <laughs> that, that, I, that function was brought, first brought to, to light by John Teeter, who appeared in 2000. A while after Tito posted about it, an I actual IBM engineer admitted to that hidden function's existence. Which reminds me, I talked to Suzuha about it this yesterday. It can only it, it, it can also decipher IBM 51, uh, IBM proprietary programming language, which was written before ABL and BASIC became widespread. Isn't that surprising? It's a data programming language only decipherable with the IBM 5100. What an incredible coincidence! Hmm, that has me thinking now. That's a bit weird, don't you think? Coincidence. How does she know? No one else knows, but she knows. Just call it a hunch. I'm just gonna take a guess. Uh, I'm gonna say maybe, maybe Suzaha is John Tier. It's a possibility. I'm just gonna keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. It's a wonder. Prime example of uh, syncrasy at work. What does that mean? A meaningful, a meaningful coincidence, uh, simulating the feeling that two casually unrelated unre events have a meaningful. Uh, this domin sync relationship. For example, a face fell and shattered at the same time my grandmother died in the hospital. Nearly everyone has felt a uh, synchron synchroni synchronicity synchronicity okay at some point in their lives. A concept advocated by a Swiss psychologist Carl Jung. Okay. It's almost like an om almighty will is put on the strings. <laughs> no, no. I say, the discovery of ours was inevitable from the start, for this is the choice of Stein's Gate. Wow, so CERN has an IBM 5100 database? Those machines aren't compatible with any any modern software. Why would they do something like that? Answer me this, what is the best way to secure a machine against external cracking? Well, make a sound on of course. Darling, quickly catches on to the intent of my question. If only IBM 5100s can read it, then then I guess it's kind of, that's kind of standalone. Which means that CERN's keeping their most important secrets hide, hidden there. How do you know about that hidden function anyway? It's recorded in my brain's extensive index lib <laughs> Librium Prohibitorium. <laughs> Tudor studied himself 10 years ago, but Dara wouldn't believe me even if I told him the truth. Very original. <laughs> I knew Dara's retort. Shut up! <laughs> Mayuri, we have important matters to discuss. Assemble! Hmm, I can hear you fine from here. <laughs> Mayuri is sewing. She doesn't get off the sofa. It doesn't matter whether you can hear or not. This means concerns the fate of future galaxy laboratory. Nay, the fate of mankind. 
So I wanted to feel more secretive, like we're scheming or something, like, wow, <laughs> we do this, we do that. It's important that we stay closer at the moment and exchange dramatic lines. The atmosphere right now is too light. <laughs> it's all Maria's fault. <laughs> Me and she won't participate in your evil schemes. Well, I can't have everything my way. <laughs> listen, oh, listen, you two. Henceforth, the future gadget laboratory shall begin. Emergency top secret opposite operations. This is the first. This shall be the first stage in our war against the dark powers that manipulate the world from the shadows. Our enemy is CERN, a scientific institute engaged in the most evil research imaginable. Oh, Corinne, you <laughs> you're too loud. And I've been up all night. Crap, I guess I am being too loud. Oh, I got the windows open again. <laughs> I can I can hear you! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that kinda ruins the whole secret feeling. And the windows open too! <laughs> I was just joking as well, it was right. <laughs> God damn it. The windows open too, if Susan Hood is down below, I'm sure she can hear everything. So I should turn it down a notch. Understand, the world has no need for two mad scientists. Before they get ahead of us, we must outwit them. Who are they? You know, them. Uh, maybe she doesn't get it at all. <laughs> Basically, we must obtain the Phantom Retro PC, the IBM 5100, said to be located somewhere in Akiba. I make a magnificent declaration, but Daru just rubs his eyes and Miyuri returns to her needlework. Damn it, is there anything you guys can react to? <laughs> We've got a massive conspiracy here. How come you are? How come you aren't excited? I'll pass on the search. I'm seriously tired. Besides, I want to keep com uh, calming certain server. That's true. Well, you're the one who could do that, Daru. So I leave it to you. So the IBM 5100's investigation squad should consist of Mayuri and me. I can't. <laughs> Mayuri makes an apologetic face. I have to. I have to make costumes, and I have to work too. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if he came a dog barking. I'm, I don't know if he can. <laughs> He's just barking, distracting me. So basically, you two are telling me this. I'm the only one here with free time. Fine, I'll manage alone somehow. It's just to try and stop me. Understood? Are you going to do something bad again? Nah, he's all talk. He, he's, he can talk to talk, but he can't walk the walk. Shut up, Daru. You otaku. <laughs> Weirdo. I leave my useless cumbers behind and strike gallantly, uh, oh, gallantly out the hall. Out the lab. Out the hall? Wait, what? <laughs> it's not a classroom. I step out, step out onto the street. Immediately, a bicycle skids to stop in front of me. Hiya! Oh, hiya! Oh, wait. <laughs> doing the wrong way. Hiya! Wait, I don't think she, she has a low voice. I don't think she. She's kind of like high pitched. Uh, energetic kind of voice. Like, hiya! Wait, hiya, uh, okay, baby, Taro? That's it. Susan Hoff gets off her bicycle and gives me a strange greeting. I want to ask her, are you an American or something? But I'm distracted by her shiny bicycle. <laughs> Same bicycle that was in front of Brown Shoe Workshop yesterday, because it belongs to her. I wonder how much, it, how much that set her back. I mean, it does look pretty expensive. Pretty nice technique there. Bicycles are fun, aren't they? I never really want my foot coming here. You never rode a bicycle before? <laughs> no, I had ridden motorcycles before though. Isn't that backwards? <laughs> Weird girl. <laughs> What's with that flashy braking back there? I think it, it, it'd be pretty dangerous if, if she did that all through town. But you begin to get cocky and get into accidents. You see that pattern all the time. If you're going at full speed, at least wear a helmet. Going to work now? Yep. The branch workshop shutters are open, but the shop itself never opens until around 11 or 12. I don't know exactly when, it seems to change with Mr. Braun's mood. That's perfect, there's something we need to talk about. Eh, but I need to get the shop ready for business. Just what this, what does this crumbly old Braun workshop need to get ready? Nothing really, jeez, I just mind as he swept in front of the shop. If he, if, if I clean inside, the bus gets angry. Everything we need... Everything where it needs to be, he says. So he's paying her n not to clean. Or to not clean, I mean. <laughs> Something's wrong with that guy. <laughs> so hear me out, then. But I'm so tired. <laughs> In other words, she doesn't feel like talking. I glare at her. 
You would be unwise to anger me. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't has no effect. It's, it's not effective. Does it have to be now, right now? My Claire is not very effective. <laughs> exactly what I said. <laughs> she doesn't falter at all. But I still, might, I still maintain my stern expression or not. <laughs> then go ahead. Susaha shrugs her shoulders and locks her bicycle. Then she turns to me. Can you keep it short, okay? Where is the IBM 5100? No intel yet. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. But by the way you talked yesterday, it sure sounded like you knew. Excuse me. Oh, it's it's very Nanyan. Unreasoning your bill. Your bill. <laughs> oh, she's putting ya in the <laughs> unreasoning your bill. Don't tell me you plan to face them head on, but that was they will turn Akibir into the sea of blood. Yeah, restrain yourself, Kiyoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> I wonder if the issue sounds like that when she's having sex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> that sounds so weird. <laughs> no, I know someone who knows. They take me to them. I will take. I will take no for. An I won't take no for an answer. Refuse and I'll show you I live in hell. I can't. Come on, I even said I'll show you I live in hell. I can't even, I can't introduce you even if I wanted to. What do you mean? Don't tell me they're imaginary. They've been dead for years. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Nah, it's okay. I don't give a shit about him anyway. <laughs> anyway, there's something I can tell you, honestly. I'm hoping that you can tell me something. Suzawa pats me on the shoulders. Funny, you think I'm the one who's supposed to be che to cheer her up. Just then, Mr. Braun opens the door and makes his appearance. Hey, part-timer! It's only your third day and you're late! <laughs> uh, sorry, boss. The streets were a little crowded this morning. <laughs> if you're not gonna take this seriously, they can always give you the boot here. As for you, Okabe, don't lay a finger on my part-timer. And you the lecturer's one here, Mr. Braun. <laughs> Why you? Just try and say something like that in front of Nay. I'll murder ya. I'll murder ya. Just keep my eye on his you gotta keep my eye on his father. Besides, I got, got, no, got no use for a skinny kid like her. What was that? Take that back, boss. <laughs> Susan is actually mad now. <laughs> what you mad? I'm another kid. I'm a warrior. <laughs> what you talking about? Suzu has burning passion as a manager shocked. I, on the other hand, am impressed. On impulse, I take Suzu's hand and grasp it firmly. I like it. I like the look in your eyes, part timer. They shine with the ra radiance of the beast and seeing the modern men. Never forget those eyes of yours. Yeah, <laughs> and you should surely change class from part time warrior to true warrior. But but I'm already a warrior. <laughs> Stay diligent in your training, and you should have the place at my side of the field of Ragnarok. Wait, in that, uh, like, mo Norse mythology, is it? Yeah, Norse mythology, the Fauna World Gods, the Twilight of Gods. Okay. Okay. Okay, baby, the usual crap again. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Ragnarok? <laughs> Susan looks confused. What's that? <laughs> the final battle gets served. You got something like that planned? Kill me if you do, but I've never heard of it. Of course you're having, it's the first time I've reeled it! For I shall be the one to initiate Ragnarok, and the world shall be reborn. Well, you sure are brave, Okabe, Okabe Rintaru. You, you probably fail, but I like your spirit. I wish my comrades were as spirited as you are. Apparently, Suzu has comrades. I'd like her, to, intru like her to, to introduce me. That way I can keep my former... Uh, keep, oh, I can form my personal army, the Phoenix Crusaders. Wait a sec. Why don't you assume my fell at Regular Rock? <laughs> Looks like I need to insist a fear of Hoeing Kiyoma into this girl. What is my store? I attract nothing but weirdos. Damn. <laughs> That's a really unlucky man. <laughs> Whatever. Part time, I just come inside. Coming! Later, bit. Later ok Okabe and Wataru. Suzaha. Suzaha waves and winks at me as she heads inside the store. Wait up, Okarine! Oh, Mayuri, what do you want? The, Miyu 
Then Miyu comes down the stairs, passing Suzu. So you're going to help me search out after all? That's the lab man spirit. Oh no, that's not it. I was just thinking about buying lunch. Hmm. She really is glutton. It's not even lunchtime yet. So, where do you plan to go? Hmm, what to eat? Yuri places her fingers on her bottom lip in thought as she walks. Sembo's beef bowl sounds good. This tiny high school girl truly has guts to enter Sambo alone. That place isn't, isn't like the train restaurants with their colorful menus and brightly lit interiors. First timers are often crowded by the old school atmosphere. Plus, this clientele is almost exclusively male, but Muir doesn't care. She just sits there, shoulder to shoulder with students and salary men, smiling as she eats her beef bowl. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the Cenobis and regular Sambo's customers are posting comments online like, The Goddess has arrived! Or, The Goddess for the win! <laughs> Oh my god, dude! She's here, the goddess! <laughs> but Sambo. Uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> that voice made me go weird, dude! <laughs> but Sambo isn't open this hurt. I try to warn her, but Miura is not, no longer there. She's gone! Miura dis disappears like this every so often. And each time she does, I wonder for, uh, for one terrible second if she really has vanished from the world. I look around and see Miura standing at a distance. She's gazing up at the sky through the buildings. Here we go again. She stopped in the middle of the street, so other pedestrians look at her, wondering what she's doing. But she doesn't notice the stairs. She slowly reaches out to the sky as if... as if... entranced. And then she freezes in that position. This is one of Miyuri's habits. I call it Stardust, a handshake. Miyuri says, uh, says that she's look... She... oh. Says that she's like looking at the night sky ever since she was a little. Her reason is romantic, or perhaps childs, childish. I feel like I can reach the stars! Yes, you can. You can whenever, Mayuri. You can do whatever you want. When I asked her about it one day, she just smiled and gave her that answer. At first, she only reached out to the night sky, but lately, she's been doing, doing it without regard to the time of day. Like now, she's even walking and talking with someone. Something inside her just seems to switch on. Honestly, it's crazy. It's crazy! <laughs> it's too early for stars, Mayuri. I woke up to Mayuri and called out to her. She obviously lowers her hand with a blank smile on her face. Did you know? Even during the day, the stars are still up there. Getting phil philosophical is nice and all, but it's dangerous to stop in the middle of the street. <laughs> That's true. Oh, just now, when I was looking at the stars, I decided to have ramen for lunch today. How are ramen and stars even related? Mary's my, my mind works in mysterious ways. Um... I'm gonna have to end it there, guys. Uh, I can't really end it at any place. It's got to be like a transition. I'm looking to end it on. Uh, because <laughs> they literally give, give you nowhere to end anything. <laughs> so, I'm gonna end it here for now. Um, I hope you enjoy this, like, hour long episodes. I think it will get through quicker. This is a long game. I can't do a short parts on this. So, I, I started to change it and make it hour long. And uh, it makes it easier for me because I can, like, do it next day. I can carry on next day after I've uploaded it. So,. It, it makes it easier for me so it, it means that I can carry on straight away. I don't, I don't forget anything. So I think it's best for both worlds. You get more content, you get longer videos, and I, you know, I don't, <laughs> I get to carry on straight away. Which you know, I, after I stop, I'm like, oh, let's see what happens next. But you know, I can't I have to get all the videos uploaded before I start carrying on. So that's exactly what happens. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, uh, I don't, Again, I'm sorry again why I was, so, uh, I was gone for a while, but never mind that. I'm back again, as I'm always. This happens every time. You know the drill. I will disappear. I'll come back. I'll disappear. I'll come back. You know how. <laughs> you know the drill. <laughs> why you gone, dude? <laughs> Shut up, Paco, <Gore. laughs> But anyway, uh, it's been Phantom Shark. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.